So, we're taking this thing back to Azura, not going back to Nelikar. I... We've seen what one mage can do with it. This isn't the sort of thing I want to leave in the hands of anyone like that. That's a shame. An unbreakable soul gem capable of holding black souls. The sheer raw power that it could... Cactus. What? Your Telvani is showing. We're not going back to Nelikar, and that's final. <sighs> Fine. Besides... My uncle would disown me if I went against Azura. My father didn't escape the Ashlands just so his son could go and turn his back on the Faith. You're an Ashlander? Half. Technically. With a name like Ferain. Oh. Sorry. My father took the name to get a better job with House Redoran. What tribe was he before? You know, I've never asked. Uncle might tell me if he wasn't so caught up with his work at the temple. He's a priest? Aye. Elder Rothraeloth. Huh. The more you know. Why wouldn't your father tell you? He died. Probably before you were born. Oh. Uh, sorry. And your mother? She never came with us to Ravenrock. That's all my father ever said about her, and... Uncle has always had choice words. Oh? Story for another time, maybe. Right. Arania. Azura Star! I knew the Lady of Twilight had sent you for a reason. Hand it over to me. I will ask Azura to restore the star to its original purity. Here you are. I will commune with Azura. Azura, mother of roses, goddess of dusk and dawn, your chosen champion has returned your star to you. She wishes to speak to you herself. Please, place your hands on the altar, and you will hear her voice. I what? <laughs> Go on, then. What was it I was saying about following the calling of Azura? Well, you were right, and it's kind of starting to make me... concerned. Greetings, mortal. You have followed my guidance through the veils of twilight, and rescued my star from Malan Varan. But his soul still resides within, protected by his enchantments. Until he is purged, my artifact is useless to you. Is there any way to cleanse the star? Oh, you can actually hear her? I... You can't? <laughs> nope. Eventually, the star will fade back into my realm in oblivion. But I doubt you have the hundred or so years it would take to wait. No, only one option remains. I will send you inside the star. You will banish Malin's soul there. Tell me when you are ready, mortal. Oh. Alright. Hey, Cactus? Mm-hmm. I might be a minute. Make sure I don't freeze. Oh, uh, 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 what's going on? Azura? I'm ready to enter the star. Have faith, mortal. I will be watching over you. Well... I feel a bit out of place here. 
Not sure if that's going to work here. What is this place? Azura, are those your Daedra or his? Suppose we'll find out. I feel like blocking right at the moment because that looks like it might be trouble. Ah, my disciples have sent me a fresh soul. Good, I was getting Why? There's something different about you. Call off your Daedra, you can't escape your fate, Malin. And who are you to challenge me? I have conquered mortality itself. I've spat in the eyes of the Daedric Lords. This is my realm now. I've sacrificed too much to let you take it from me. For your death. Right. Careful. Damn it. Don't fall off the edge. Well, none of that helps. Great. Why not? The star is free to purify itself. Don't worry, mortal. I will return you before you are cleansed. What? Ah, uh, well. Thank you. My star has been restored, and Malin's soul has been consigned to oblivion. You have done well, mortal. As was destined, you are free to use my star as you see fit. Thank you, Lady Azura. That was... Uh, harrowing. Farewell, mortal. Know that Azura will be guarding over the threads of your fate in the twilight. Well, how did it go? What was it like in there? Daedra. <laughs> While you were in the star, Azura gave me a vision. Her last, she said. I have never been without Azura's foresight since escaping Morrowind. I don't know what to do. If you need me, I'd be honored to accompany you, Guardian of the Star. It would give me a purpose. Thank you, Arania. Really? Just like that, we're going to take the... Don't look at me like that. Don't be like that, Cactus. Twilight, watch over you, Guardian. So Azura isn't giving you any more visions? No. She said my part was over. That my fate had moved beyond the Twilight, and I was on my own. I will tend Azura's shrine when you do not need me. I still have my duties, but for the first time I feel... alone. I don't think taking her with us is a good idea. Why not? Well, we still have all sorts of things to do at the college, don't we? And? Maybe she'll find a place there. Alright, fine. She can come with us to Winterhold. You're the one calling the shots now. Alright, it's up to you. 
You come with us to Winterhold. Let's not waste any time. Okay. Right. So, we go turn in the books to Urag now, right? Alright. I've got to charge a ch uh, staff. You seem a little shaken by all that. Aye. That was a lot. Right. Now that she's taken care of. Or at least seen to safety. You really don't like her much, do you? I... Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I finally figured out what those- what that sound is, by the way. Oh. They're the little... The things on the ground. They are activated when magic walks over them. Sort of. Gods. Someone ought to fix this bridge. <laughs> hey, maybe we can learn enough magic to. So I, I fought Daedra in the star. I think they were Malin's servants. Well, that's lovely. Right. Uh, this way. Enchanting services are one of the few things that keep us in touch with the rest of Skyrim. I saw that too. You have questions? Uh, no. But I do like your horn things. Don't read into it, it's just pretty. Right. And, uh, you have no fondness at all whatsoever for her. No. I'm far too busy for that kind of thing. Right, Urag. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? We're clear. You're the ones that went missing. Well, well. And you seem to be in one piece. Thank you. I'll look these over, and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. I suppose you've earned these. Books. Lots of books. Yeah, those might be useful, right? Learning magic and whatnot? Aye. Gods. Right. Talked it. All right, then. You're not gonna read them? I'll read them and then I'll let you borrow them. How about that? But for now, we have other things to attend to, right? I suppose. My incessant quest for knowledge and power will have to wait another day. I'm mostly joking. Right, where is Tulk, dear? Oh, there he is. Oh. Right. Don't tell me you forgot about the weird orb thing already. We've done some things since then. I... I did. They say memory is the second thing to go when you get older. Oh, what's the first? You know, I've sort of forgotten. So, 
Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. Right. Urag suggested we come see you. Did he now? Does he have information about our wonderful discovery? He found a certain book. The Night of Tears. Is that the one about something buried beneath Sarthal? Something that men and Nair fought over? I'll have to make a point of rereading it. I don't recall the details. I just can't seem to tear myself away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. I'm sure you've already noticed the markings. They're quite unlike anything we've seen before. I think the first Elliot, thing to go is your Emma, focus. Daedric, not even Farmer. None of them are a match. Quite curious indeed. Now, I'm not sure that you're quite as attuned as I am, given my extensive years it's of experience. Okay. But can you feel that? This marvelous object. It practically radiates magicka. And yet it's unlike anything I've felt before. Archmage Aaron is already hard at work, and hopefully we'll have more information soon. I'm afraid I must no, intrude. I... It is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. This is most inappropriate. We are involved in serious research here. Yes, I've no doubt of its gravity. This, however, is a matter that cannot wait. Well, I'm quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. The audacity. I suppose we'll continue this at some later time, when we can avoid interruptions. I need you to come with me immediately. Let's go. As long as you tell me what's going on here. Really? Well, allow me to clarify the situation. I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the Sidic Order here in the college. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's asking for you specifically. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. Aren't you just an advisor here? Technically, that is true, but I still report to the Old Merry Dominion, and I cannot ignore this situation. Don't worry. You can return to your petty squabbles and meaningless research as soon as this matter is resolved. Uh, sorry, Ancano, or whatever your name was, but you can't call it meaningless research and then claim that it's a matter of such importance that you have to report it to the Old no. Merry. You are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here, and then he will be removed from college grounds. Dominion. Right. We follow the Thalmor. He's obviously up to something. I mean, aren't all of us? Right. Guess he wants to prove a point. We did follow him. Still. Oh. Oh, it actually is someone from the Psychic Order. Alright. Please do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. Oh. Cactus? Of course, and you've frozen everyone again. It is good to meet you in person. Right. What do you want with me? I merely wish to talk to you. I've given us a chance to speak privately. But I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. The situation here at your college is of dire importance. And attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object, the Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something about it? Why are you trusting this to the likes of some Dunmo with busted hands? I'm afraid it's not that simple. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm all too aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Onkano, your Thalmor associate. 
Nevertheless, my order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. All right. And why should I trust you or your order? I presume you refer to Onkano's distaste for the Sigic Order. The Thalmor see our order as a threat because we have power, and we will not allow them to control us. I assure you that we mean you no harm. That's exactly the kind of thing that someone who means harm would say, but I digress. So what exactly is the problem? As you may have learned, this object, the Eye, is immensely powerful. The world is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, many in the Order believe it has already. Rather, something will happen soon, something that cannot be avoided. Great. So what do you expect from me, then? We believe that your efforts should be directed towards dealing with the aftermath. But we cannot predict what that will be. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my order. But I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. Alright, where can I find this Augur? I... I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help. But this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. I'm sorry. Where? Were what? you about to what say is the meaning something? of this? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't understand. Don't play coy. You asked to see a specific member of the college. Here he is. Now what is it that you want? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly, I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. What? What trickery is this? You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. I am not up to anything. I apologize if I have offended you in any way. We will see about this. So, something happened. Aye, something happened. Right, Archmage. I'm... I'm not sure what happened. A monk from the Sigic Order. Here after all these years and then... He just leaves. I hope we didn't offend him somehow. I don't... think we did, but what did he want with you? Beyond asking for you, he never said. Very strange indeed. Aye. Right. On a completely different subject, have you ever heard of the Ogre of Dunlane? Has Tolfdir been telling stories again? I thought I made it quite clear that this was a subject inappropriate for conversation. Please, don't allow him to continue to discuss the subject. Right. Will do. Alright then. You coming? Uh-huh, I'm following you. Right. We'll go out the short way this time. And I'll tell you what happened later. Not gonna tell me what happened now? Not until we figure out where the Dun where the Ogre of Dunlane is. What even is that? That's a good question. Where is Toldir? He may have retired for the night. <laughs> I'm... I'm glad you have a cloak, because it is absolutely scales freezingly cold out. Does Tolftir usually retreat in here? I have no idea. Excuse me, Mirabelle. Please don't bother the Archmage unless it's absolutely necessary. Right. 
Have you ever heard of the Augur of Dunblane? That's nothing you need to concern yourself with. Fair enough. I don't suppose you'd... Would you help me if it was part of an investigation? Very well. It's not something often discussed, as it might be... misunderstood by the locals. The Augur is down in the Midden, below the college. I don't recommend going down there unless it's absolutely necessary. Thank you very much, Mirabelle. Well... Okay, so are you finally going to tell me what in all of the gods names is going on here? That Sijik is going on here. He told me something's going to happen with the Eye, and we're on aftermath duty. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. I bet that goes down to the midden. Alright, lead on. I can't say as I'm excited about going into somewhere called the midden, but... I'm not going to stand in the way of a Rettering Guard, former or current, when it comes to matters of justice and law and whatnot. Smart. Thanks. Great. Well... Here's a question, how many of these need charging? Most of them. That one's new. Right. Might as well try that one out for a while. So, now that we're in... Uh... Why does that have a horse face? You're the Telvani, you tell me. Ugh, I don't think I could tell you, that's disgusting. What? Well, that's interesting. You know what? I want to see where this goes. Did you hear something? Uh, we're in a creepy cave thing. I heard a couple of things. Oh. Well, that's good to know. Alright. So now we know there's more than one way to get down here. Okay. So, back up. If you would. Oh, damn. Alright, back up to where? Blister Ward? Not Blister Ward. Uh. Oh, lovely. Right. Uh, the Sijik. What did the Sijik want? Wow. Well, the Sijik wanted me... ...to find the Ogre of Dunlane. Because... Aftermath of someone misusing the Eye of Magnus, which is that strange thing. Don't think that's the way we're going. Great. Who are we taking bets on? Right at the moment, my two bets are on you and the Thalmor. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate the confidence.
something down here. Oh, lovely. I don't like that. Why are we going down the one with the blood? Just in case. Oh, come here. There we go. You're not bad with that. Thank you, I... Practiced with a dagger. Sorry, I don't mean to point it at you. Right. A bit claustrophobic in here. Don't like that. You don't like being underground in general. Aye, uh, that is correct. <sighs> Something about the Order of the Black Worm. What's this? This mentioned Sadrith Mora. We should probably keep that near. That's interesting. I might come back down here to play around with that later. I have no doubt of that. Interesting. Saul, so you're right. I. Cause you don't sound all right. Oh, you know. You reminded me why I don't like being underground. Sorry, didn't mean to. There's the bastard. Well, you're stuck, aren't you? Nice. Okay. We keep going. Hi. Great. Lovely. Huh. Looks like some sort of shrine to Sithis. What? Trust an Argonian to know something like that. Right. Oh. There's something down there. Okay. Your perseverance will only lead to disappointments. Still, you persist. Very well, you may enter. Tell me I'm not the only one hearing that. Uh, nope, nope, I heard... Wow. What is that? I think that might be the Ogre of Dunlane. So you're the Ogre. I am that which you have been seeking. Your efforts are in vain. It has already begun. But those who have sent you have not told you what they seek, what you seek. I was told to find you. Indeed. And so you have come looking, though you do not know why. Like 
others before you. You blindly follow a path to your own destruction. The Thalmor came seeking answers as well, unaware they will be his undoing. Your path now follows his, though you will arrive too late. Oh, great. I assume he means Ancano. The one who calls himself Ancano. He seeks information about the Eye, but what he will find shall be quite different. His path will cross yours in time, but first you must find that which you need. All right. And what do I need? You, and those aiding you, wish to know more about the Eye of Magnus. You wish to avoid the disaster of which you are not yet aware. To see through Magnus's eye without being blinded, you require his staff. Events now spiral quickly towards the inevitable center. So you must act with haste. Take this knowledge to your Archmage. And just like that, he evaporates. Well, we make haste then. Okay. So Ancano was here. Things are happening, apparently. So... does that mean that you believe me that I'm not up to something? More or less. Even though you kept claiming that you are. But I mean, I have to keep up appearances. What sort of appearance are you planning to keep up around me? Well, you have a good point there. You don't really expect much of me, do you? Well, that came out of nowhere. Not really, we were talking about keeping up appearances, weren't we? You don't expect my appearance to be anything other than what it is. I... I'm House Rhetorin, I don't really... You know... I don't do masks. Right. You know, I'm kind of grateful for that. Oh, gods. Sorry. Heh. <laughs> Go on. Where? Right. Archmage. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. Now I know I said I wasn't going to go ask about the Ogre of Dunlane, but I have important information for you. Really? And what might that be? We need to find the Staff of Magnus. I'm sorry, what? Well, I'd certainly love to have such a powerful staff. But I'm not really sure that any of us need it. Uh, just so you know, it's connected to the orb downstairs. And how do you know of this? Well, we did what you told us not to do. 
Did you really? And he specifically mentioned the Staff of Magnus? I... I'm impressed with your initiative. Of course, someone will need to follow up on this. You mean us, don't you? I certainly do. Since you went so far as to seek out the Augur for advice, I thought you'd be more enthusiastic. Something as specific and ancient as the Staff of Magnus. I'm not sure we'd ever find something like that. I seem to recall Mirabelle mentioning the Staff somewhat recently. Why don't you see if she can tell you anything? I'm quite pleased with your progress, you know. You've certainly proven yourself to be more than a mere apprentice. Well done. This circlet once proved invaluable to me. I hope it can be of use to you now. Do I look like the type to wear a circlet? You might be able to make better use of this than me. Oh. Well, I mean... I might as well. Neither of mine are enchanted, so... I'd be happy to take that off your hands. There you are. We're just gonna go find Mirabelle. I feel like leaving him in there with that is a bad idea. I think you're right. However... <laughs> probably won't be able to do anything about him. Or the, uh, Spinorb thing. Eye of Magnus. Till after we have that staff. You're probably right. Right, people are probably sleeping. Where is Mirabelle? Oops. Oh. Did we find the wrong building? We found the wrong building. Whoops. Well, I'll be. What? That door leads to the midden. Oh, good to know. What is that? I don't know. Go look at it. Ugh. Oh. <gasps> they have a staff enchanter. I thought only Nelhoth had one of those. Good to know what's this. It's got the mark of House Telvani on it. I wonder if Nello sent one over. Oh, well that was nice of him. Which makes me wonder if it was even him. Well, uh... Sorry, Mirabel. Please don't bother the Archmage unless it's absolutely necessary. I'm sorry to bother you, but uh, do you know anything about the Staff of Magnus? Well, now that's an odd question. Why in the world would you be asking? And at this time of night, I understand. Uh, it may be connected with the Eye of Magnus. The Eye of Magnus? I can appreciate that this thing, this orb, it's very impressive. Very unique and definitely worth studying. 
But let's not jump to any conclusions or assign it importance beyond what we're certain of. Fair enough. But uh, the Orga referred to it as the Eye of Magnus, not me. I didn't even know you we were calling it that. The Orga. Just what have you gotten yourself involved in? Whatever is going on, whatever you're up to, be very careful. Yes, ma'am. So are the staff of Magnus. Well, it's said to be very powerful. Has the capacity to store an incredible amount of magical power, as the story goes. But it's more myth than anything at this point. I've no doubt that it actually exists, but no one has seen it in, what, decades? Longer? I'm not sure. The only time I've heard it mentioned was when those Synod characters showed up some months ago looking for it. Who are the Synod? Oh, you don't know about them? No. Mages based out of Cyrodiil. They fancy themselves the Imperial Authority on Magic these last few hundred years. My understanding is that all they really do is make noise in an attempt to curry favor from the Emperor. Lots of politics, little magic. I was quite surprised to find them on our doorstep. They seemed amiable enough, but their line of questioning made me... uneasy. It became clear they're trying to hoard powerful artifacts, looking to consolidate power. So no one knows the staff's location. Even the Synod. No one here does. The Synod seemed convinced it was somewhere in Skyrim. They inquired about the ruins of Mizulft, but that's all I remember. It sounded like they were heading there, though they were rather secretive about why. I suppose if you're intent on looking for the staff, there's a chance they might be in Mizulft yet. Just don't expect them to be cooperative. Right. Anything else you could tell me about that staff? I'm not really sure. Made and used by Magnus himself, if you believe those sorts of things. I believe I've heard it said that it's the only thing that could adequately contain his power. The sort of embellishment wizards of ancient times loved to make. Right, we should go find it. And leave Miss Mirabelle to her sleep, yes. Out of the way, Cactus. Would you kindly move? Sorry. Look, it's late. Why don't we go sleep and head for Mazulft in the morning? Like, you know, normal people? Said the Tilvani. Look, I appreciate that your sense of honor is pushing you to do something about this immediately, if not sooner. But if you keep going this way, you're just gonna hurt yourself more. You know that, right? You're a veteran guard, of course you know that. I will sleep. You don't seem particularly pleased about that. I'm not. I want to get this done. I don't want to wake up in the morning and see the tower crumbling over our heads. That Sidic really scared you, didn't he? Between the Sidic and Azura? Aye. You get the bed this time. I'll take the chair.